How to make animated water. Before you make a river or a creek or whatever, you need to have an environment first. Yeah, that's right, I'm plugging my other videos, what of it? After you have your environment, make a plan and place it in the scene. Go into the top orthographic view and start extruding along the riverbed by holding control and clicking. The key thing for the river is that it needs to have face edge flow from one end to the other. Now we need a water texture that tiles from top to bottom. After you throw that texture in a blender, it's time to UV map. We need to straighten out the entire river. Fortunately, there's an add-on that makes this easier called UV squares. Once you install the add-on, go into the UV editor and select the river. Hit Alt E to straighten out the islands, scale them to your desired size, and then rotate them so the length of the islands goes up and down. Now we need to animate it. In the shader editor, split the 3D viewport and make the new screen into a dope sheet. And while we're here, let's change the outlier into a graph editor. We're gonna need it here in a second. Add a texture coordinate node and a mapping node and set them up like this. At frame zero, add a keyframe to the Y location by hitting I on your keyboard while hovering over it. Then go to like frame 72 or something and set a new Y location key at one units. It's alive! However, it has this weird acceleration to it and it ends before the end of the animation. We're gonna fix that in the graph editor. With our object selected, go into the graph editor, then find the Y keyframes, select them and hit T to bring up the keyframe interpolation menu and set them to linear. Then finally select the Y value in the animation channel, go over here into the modifiers tab and add a cycles modifier and you just animated a river.